Hey folks, Scott from IT Rockstar is here. Um, in this video, I'm just going to go over um, some keywords you can be targeting um, for your IT business um, and also give you an idea of what your competitors are actually targeting online. Now, I've been running on uh, the IT Rockstar's website uh, for the last two years now. Um, it's an online directory of IT companies and you can add your IT business to that with all the business description, a link to your website um, and all the sort of contact details. Part of that business listing though, I ask um, what keywords or what tags that you want optimized on our, on our website. So I've had over a hundred people submit their businesses over the last sort of months um, and I've kind of taken all of that data and I've put it into a big um, Excel document. So if I show you that just now, um, let me just switch my desktop to my desktop here. Um, I'm going to go into Excel. Um, these are the 100 entries I've had over the last month or so um, on, on the IT Rockstar's website. If you want to add your business onto this directory, just simply follow the URL in the, in the description to this video. Um, but this column here, these are all of the tags. So what I've done um, are all of the keywords. What I've done is I've taken all of those keywords and I've put them into a word cloud generator. And this is what the word cloud generator has come back with. And as you can see, um, the biggest sort of uh, keyword um, is support. So that is obviously the most common one that most of your competitors um, are going after in the Google search. That's what they're trying to optimize their website for. So that takes me on to the whole point of this video and that is having to think about what Google keywords um, you should be targeting online, what, what you should be optimizing your website for um, in the content that you're writing and that type of thing. And it might not actually specifically be IT support. From the perspective of the IT business owner or the IT business, um, IT support might seem like a fairly obvious one or IT services, but from the perspective of your customers, it might be something completely different. And it is in some instances, that is the fact that it's completely different. Um, just to give you an example of that, if you're a, a managed service provider, um, you might actually want to be targeting things like outsourced IT support or outsourced IT services. Um, using that word um, outsourced, it's maybe not something that you've thought about before, um, but it's certainly one that's going to sort of drive more of that sort of business type client to you. So these are the words. Um, I will, if you're if you're interested to see what all of them they are, um, just ping me a, a, a you know. A, Leave a comment below, and I can um, I can send you them in a, uh, a direct message. If you want to find out exactly, I mentioned the outsourced IT support, what keywords actually work, and ones that your competitor aren't going after, but um, that are actually very sort of well established for the people in the know. Check out the latest book that I've written myself. It's called Bear Attack SEO for Managed Service Providers. You can find this on Amazon. It's nine ninety nine. Definitely worth a quick read, even if it is just for those keywords. Um, I've generated 153 keywords um, that were specific to IT businesses and managed service um, businesses. So for that $9.99 alone, it's definitely worth going after. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video, folks. I hope you enjoyed this one. Thank you. And also, I'm on Facebook Live, so I don't know how to turn it off. End video. There we go.